Catherine Harrison, and I like to say it is a beautiful day, and that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is also my birthday, and I am very happy to be here this morning, and it's just a joy to know that God let me live to have another birthday, and I just like to say Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to share in another year and another day with my Holy Father in heaven and the angels. And thank you so much for Andrew, Reverend Andrew Harrison and Grace Harrison being uh, the proud baby girl that was born to Reverend and Mrs. Grace Harrison. i like to say thank you for the times uh, that all my viewers has come to, to my channel on YouTube and visit me. Um, everything that I have said, I hope that I have said something to help someone along the way. I hope that I have helped save the soul. I hope that I've helped some some way brighten somebody's today and yesterday. And I hope this morning, this afternoon, that I can maybe brighten your day because my day has truly been brightened. I thank you so much for all of the ones that have come on my Facebook page and my YouTube page and wish me a happy birthday. Those that have called me and sing to me and uh, even those that have texted me and emailed me and uh, said happy birthday uh, Minister Catherine Harrison and uh, also Bishop we love you and I do love you also I have some friends that uh, just call me Bishop all the time you know and I just I, I love them for that and uh, you know I I, 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 I really don't uh, care about the titles, but I care about Jesus, and I care about people, you know, and it's not about us. It's all about Jesus, and, and it's just so happy to be here this morning to say thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing me to be able to be here to say, I love you, Jesus, and I love you all for just being a part of my YouTube channel. And today, we're going to talk about, keep in mind that uh, we have a chance to increase our vision with Jesus. And how we increase our vision with Jesus is stay in touch with the book of Matthew. That's how it all started. It started in the book of Matthew. And, you know, and uh, Matthew started with Matthew's Mark, Luke, and John is the true gospel. And um, we're going to be talking this week when I, as I come back on my YouTube channel. It says, let's keep in mind about the background of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew 14, 22, and 36 is what I would like for you to look over. And when I come back on this channel, we're going to discuss the... Uh, Matthew 14, 32 through 33. And it says, keep in mind, and when they were come into the ship, the, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, oh, of truth, thou art the Son of God. Thou art the Son of God. They were so amazed that they were in this boat with this man that could cease the wind and how the wind obey him. He had to be the Son of God. My God, my God, my people, we must turn around and know that Jesus Christ. <laughs> He is the Son of God, and he has us here today to tell the world all about him. He left us here to tell the world about him. That's why we're here, my friends. We're not here for any other reason. We're here to worship and praise his name and get ready for our true home to go home, because when we go home, you know what we're going to do? 
We're going to worship and we're going to praise the Lord with everything that's in us. We're just going to enjoy ourselves with Jesus because you know what? I enjoy myself with him right now and I just love the Lord with everything in me and I just thank him so much for allowing me to be able to be alive this morning. And are you happy that he's got you alive this morning? We're just going to say this morning, thank you, Jesus, for Matthew's Mark, Luke, and John. It is a true gospel. It is Jesus Christ. And we just thank you, God, for sending your son. It has been a blessed it's been a blessed year so far. And we just thank you, Father, for allowing us to be here. There's someone out there this morning, Father, that I love to bless this morning, Father, in your holy name. Father, there's someone out there that's sick and that's in pain, Father. I ask you to touch them right down in your holy name, Father. There's someone out there that needs someone to say that I love you. And Jesus told me to tell you that he loved you. That's why he sent his son. I want you to know that I... <laughs> Then I love you too. If nobody told you that they love you this morning, I want you to know that I love you with everything that's in me. For God has truly given me the gift of love. He's given me the power of healing. And I have touched somebody this morning. And I guarantee you that by the sound of my voice, you will be healed. The pain that's in your back or in your knees or in your legs or in your head, you shall be healed. For he said by the by his stripes, you are healed. For he went to the cross so that we could have a heal, that we could have healing in our body. He went to the cross for our sins. He died. He died and he he had to put his head in the lock of his shoulder, and he gave up his ghost. And when he gave up his ghost, he said, it is finished. And he, when he said it is finished, my friend, he meant that it is finished, meaning that everything he gave an account for. He gave an account for everything. Everything that he could ever begin to even think of was given accounted for. And we just need to just say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You know, I'm just... I just, get, I just get all happy all over inside, you know. It's not about me. It's not about my birthday. It's all about his birthday because I wouldn't have a birthday, you know, unless he had a birthday, you know. If it wasn't for his birthday, I couldn't have a birthday. So, you know what? When you have a birthday, just know that. It's his, his birthday, you know, because without his birthday, you couldn't have a birthday, my friend. So we don't want to say happy birthday to Jesus. When you have a birthday, tell him happy birthday, too, because you know what? He is all worthy. He is all magnificent. I find no fault in Jesus. Jesus is all worthy. He is a glorious God. He's a perfect God. When he came out of that grave, he came out of that grave with no fault. I find no fault in Jesus. There's no fault in Jesus. Nowhere, my friend. And I just love you. And I'm going to do a little short prayer. And I'm going to get off of here because I got a busy day this morning. And I'm going to enjoy this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Why don't you rejoice and be glad in it and enjoy this day? Because I'm going to enjoy this day. I enjoy every day, God. Because every day that I wake up, it is a birthday to me because he allowed me to be in this day with him. For he said in his word, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. And he also said, trust in the Lord, all thy heart lean not to all thy understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. I want you to know that he'll do that. And he also said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he said also, the main prayer in the whole round world is, our Father who art in heaven, hello would be thy name. Now you should never forget that. Now we're going to do a little short prayer here this morning, this afternoon, and we're, I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to say now and to all the birthday people here in May, happy birthday to you and happy birthday to Jesus. And I hope that you enjoy your birthday and I hope that you go out and you do something good. I hope you call somebody this afternoon. I hope you call somebody tonight. If you forget to do it this afternoon, call Call somebody before the day is out today and tell them that you love them. Because you know what? He said that love and joy 
is the most important thing in the world. He said out of the three, he said love is the most important one. And that comes out the book of Corinthians 13 and 13. He said out of those three, love is the most important one. And you know what? <laughs> what keep me feeling and looking so good? Out of all of the things that are wrong in my body <laughs> is that I know that I have love in my life and love in my soul and my heart for others. And I hope that you will do the same thing. Love somebody. Find somebody to love, you know. <laughs> it's a blessing to love somebody and let somebody love you back. Always allow somebody to love you back. Here we go now. We're going to do this short prayer, and we're going to get out of here. And I'm going to say bye-bye at the end of this prayer and hope I see you again. And pray that I see you again. I know I see you again. In fact, if God is good, all is well. Now, Heavenly Father, I close my eyes to this whole nation, asking you to bless this whole entire nation, Lord. Please, Sir Jesus, come and touch us, Father. Touch every and each person all over this world, Father. Touch the sick and the shut-in, the motherless, the fatherless, the homeless, the bereaved, the incarcerated, those that are incarcerated within themselves. Touch the President of the United States. Touch all of the presidents all over this world, all the high officials. Father, you said that we could not pray without praying for the high officials over this world. Father, you said that your prayer would be selfish if you didn't pray for everybody in the world. Father, I pray for the whole world, Father. I pray for all of your children. Father, touch those that need to be touched. Touch those that do not know you, Father. Have us go around the world, all of us ministers that have been chosen by you, Father, that heard your name, Father. Let us do right by one another, Father. Let all of the ministers and the bishops and the pastors and the preachers come together as a whole, Father. Let us all understand that we all are in this race together, Father. Bless them, Father. Touch us, Father. Touch all of us, Father. Please, Sir Jesus. Continue to love us in spite of our faults, Father. We thank you for your son, because without your son, Father, our faults would not be accounted for. Lord, I just bless your holy name, and we just thank you this morning, Father. Now, touch right now, Father, in your holy son, Jesus Christ's name. It is that been decreed that you are the Savior of the world, and I just love you, Jesus. And they call him Jesus. They say they call him Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for allowing me to be able to pray. Thank you, Lord, for calling me to be a minister, Father. It is, I give you great honor. It is an honor and a privilege to be called Minister Catherine Harrison. It is an honor and a privilege to be a daughter of Reverend Andrew and Gracie Harrison. It is an honor and a privilege to have been a granddaughter of the late Mr. and Mrs. Alice Powell and Alice Johnson of Natchitoches, Louisiana. I will never forget my grandmother and my grandfather and my mother and my father, the balance of my days. Lord, I thank you. Without them, I would not be here. Without my heavenly father, I would not be here. I thank you, Lord, for this day. Continue to remember me as I walk. And as I carry myself as a child of God and as a minister, I bless your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name, I ask you to touch right now. Touch all of the sick and the shedding. Touch all those that need to be touched, Father. Touch them, Father. Touch them right now, Lord. Give them everything that they need, Father. Give them a spiritual blessing, Father, right now. We all need a spiritual blessing right now, Father. In Jesus Christ's name. I pray this prayer. Hallelujah and amen. Amen. All right, my people. I thank you so much for stopping in. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You know me. I say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>